Hello and welcome back to Pageant Planet Live. I'm Stephanie McGrain and tonight I'm joined by the beautiful Shantaea McIntyre, Mrs. California, United States. Welcome Shantaea. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing so well. So excited to have you and I'm so looking forward to all of the fabulous tips and advice you're going to give us tonight. <laughs> I'm excited as well. Now, I have to say, oh my goodness, you have three kids and you look so amazing. So you have to tell us what tips and advice do you have for us to look fabulous like you in swimsuit? No excuses. I think that's my biggest, ex uh, my biggest tip. You really just have to go to the gym and no workout is a bad workout. There are times I did not feel like crawling to the gym and I did it anyway. Um, just consistency, you know, skipping one day is not going to kill you, but skipping several days will make a difference. And just really being conscious about your diet. I definitely didn't starve. I, I, I don't like to starve. <laughs> um, and so for me, it was about eating healthy, making good choices, and just being consistent and knowing it was fun to put myself, you know how you put your a Victoria's Secret model on the fridge to keep yourself motivated? And it was fun to finally have a picture of myself. That was like my own motivation. So just be your own motivation. Know that you're worth it and know that you have to be consistent. Well, that's great advice. And I liked how you also said that no workout is a bad workout because sometimes I work out and I'm like, gosh, I feel like that was a waste of time. But be right? consistent and yes. <laughs> no workout's a bad workout. I always tell myself that because a little bit at a time makes a big difference. Completely agree with you. Now, you had mentioned that during uh, the preliminary competition, you did not receive any awards. So do you feel it's more about being consistent across all areas of competition rather than trying to stand out in one particular category? That's like consistency is my, my theme for this interview, but yeah, yes, I 100% right. <laughs> agree. Um, at, at the state level, I did not win interview, I did not win evening wear or swimwear, but I'm told that I was either tied for first place or a close second in every category. And I think in the Mrs. United States system, you have to be just consistent across the board. There's no, um, what is that ballot called, where you know you can pick based on your gut feeling who should be the top five. It's not that way in this system. Okay. It really is cumulative points. So if you're going to bomb evening wear or bomb swimsuit, it's really not your title to gain. But if you can be consistent across the board, it's, it's yours to win. I love it. Be consistent. Great message for everyone to hear. <laughs> and also, you gave an introduction of yourself before interview. So mm -hmm. tell us, what should we say to really make a great impression right out of the gate. Yeah. You know, I always like to steer the interview. They were given a bio or you wrote a bio and provided that for the judges. I love to, to tell them what I want to talk about during that five minutes. So during my introduction, I talked about my son who I just adopted the day before. Wow. I talked about uh, my platform and I talked about um, my plans, what I would do if I won Mrs. California. Um, and I really thought that that really helped guide them and, and really helped make them think about what questions they were going to ask because I really wanted that to be a powerful five minutes and I don't want to talk about my favorite color or or what it was like to be married uh, not that those aren't great things because I love being married <laughs> but I just really wanted to focus them on the areas that I want to talk about I love it so steering the interview in the way you want it to go and That's and now you had a, pa a panel interview is that correct? Correct, yes. Okay do you feel like it was more difficult to maybe connect with all of the, ju the judges at one time, a bigger group, and you know, just having the five minutes. I, how, how were you successful at that? I think the time is the biggest challenge. I don't think it's hard to connect with a group. Um, I'm pretty good at engaging people even if they're not part of the conversation. Um, because I, I know as being a judge of many pageants that you're nervous too as the judge, you're nervous. So not every judge is going to jump in and ask those questions. Um, but I think in five minutes to make an impact that's strong enough that they think that you deserve the title is the real challenge. And so for me it was just showing a good range of emotions, um, being happy when it was appropriate and, and showing some depth when it was also appropriate and just really not being um, reserved really being transparent um, so they could really see who I was in that five minutes. 
Oh, I love it. Showing depth, showing emotions. Love that. Now, in terms of gown, what would you recommend? Is the Mrs. United States system, are they more conservative? Or would you recommend being more daring and fashion forward? Well, I definitely took the take of being a little more daring and fashion forward. Uh, my director, Janice Ward, and my, my gown designer, we decided we were going to just take the plunge and go with something a little more trendy. We went the two-piece number. I thought it was a beautiful gown. Uh, I just, I thought it was just, I felt like a million bucks. And I think that is really what's most important, that you really, when you put that dress on, it feels like it was meant to be yours. And it feels like you've got the crown on already. I mean, I just, it, it hugged me. I thought it was wonderful. But at the same time, the winner was a little more conservative than my dress. Probably everybody is, was a little more conservative than my dress. Um, but to me, that's neither here nor there. Um, I really felt like a million bucks, and I wouldn't change that. So I think as long as you're wearing the dress and the dress isn't wearing you, you can get away with the big spectrum of something a little more conservative or something a little more or a lot more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was checking out your pictures on Facebook, and I, I loved the gown you had on for your state pageant, but yes, oh my gosh, the gown you're talking about, the two-piece for the National Mrs. United States pageant, oh, I'm in love with that, and you looked so oh, amazing, stunning. It was so fun. Crown Diva here in Santa Monica, they designed that for me, uh, Christian, Sochi designs, I don't know, but it was, it was breathtaking, custom made for me, it was awesome. Loved it, and you looked amazing in it. Thank now, you. tell us, what is your best piece of advice for all of the ladies out there competing in the Mrs. United States system? My best piece of advice is really to enjoy the week. Um, I had, I was just thinking about that this morning, about what a great time I had connecting with those women. Um, pageant girls, as you know, we are we are multifaceted. We tend to be the cream of the crop. And so to get 50 women who are married and working or staying at home and juggling it all, um, it was just so much fun. And so I, I was really glad that I didn't have my game face on so tight that I couldn't enjoy the week. Um, and so that would be one piece of advice. But I know that you're asking me about the actual competition. So another piece of advice I would give is um, have a strong passion because I think that Mrs. United States is such a great platform to sharing a women's issue. Um, I, I heard infertility support. I've heard um, postpartum depression. I heard, you know, I mean, those are two that kind of drew to me. But there were so many issues that these women were passionate about and really were making waves in their communities locally and then statewide. And then if you win on a national level, I think it's a really great platform to do that. Wow. Well, great tips mm -hmm. and great advice. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome so much. I'm so glad it worked out. This is a blast. Oh, me too. So happy. And I have to ask, when are you crowning your successor? I'm crowning my April 12th, I believe, is the day. Um, so we're counting down. It's so fun to meet these girls. I've got some beautiful articulate women that are competing for this title. And um, I think we're going to do really well at the national level again this year. Oh, so exciting. We'll definitely be watching to see who you pass along your crown to. And yes. best wishes to you for continued success. Thank, thank you, so you so much, much for joining me. Likewise. Thank you so much. And thanks to the viewers for tuning in. And for more great interviews like this one on how to succeed in pageantry, be sure to subscribe to Pageant Planet's YouTube channel. Thanks again, everyone. Thank you, Shantaya. Welcome. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.